once again, trying to set up a, you know, something nice, you know, set up a steakhouse dinner. Quality time, Miss Curry. That's what he, you just asked for. Keep yes, going. Yes, ma'am. And we get there to the place, to the venue. This guy opens the door. She sits there, makes eye contact with this guy. The dude is, we, we're like almost 20 feet away. He's just sitting there holding the door like he a dough man or something. And she's just sitting there just smiling, walking right up to it and walked off in front of me. I'm trying to be like, you know what, all right, just forget about that. Because I had something special planned, Your Honor. So I tried to sit down first because I saw what a guy said at. I said, I just want to test that out. So we get up in there. I said, I'm going to sit right here. So she can't face this guy. She pushes me out the way and said, oh, I want to sit here. I'm like, are you serious? She's like, oh, you're going to make a big deal about this? You're going to make a big deal? I said, baby, am I the one making a big deal about this? I said, I tried to sit down first. You pushed me out the way. I said, you know what, forget it. Just sit there. So we sat down, the waitress come out. I had something planned. Since she said, you know, we didn't get a chance to go on the honeymoon. That's right, we didn't. We didn't have babysitters and stuff like that. So I really wanted to do something special for her. I said, I want to make it up to her, Yana. So I had the waitress set everything up. I was going to repropose to her that night. And when I got ready to do it, just because I'm guessing, I can't say this for sure, but because she couldn't make eye contact with this guy or whatever, she tell me, oh, what are you doing with that? Put that up. I ain't got time for you embarrassing me. Broke my heart, Yana.